Wednesday morning, I'm off to the Westmoreland show in a bit, so I'll do a little bit of filming, see what's interesting there in the yard now. Andrew's just nipped to see his account, and then he's going to go and patch that OSR up because we filled the drill up last night. Morgan's just been picking a trailer up from somewhere. We're going to swap the tyres on the bait into the wider ones because obviously we're going to be driving on seabeds now. And they were chipping for about five minutes, but the hammer's gone in the chipper, so the chipper's now on its way to the workshop to get some parts changed. Everyone says, why don't you get a new chipper? Because that one's unreliable. A brand new chipper would still go wrong if you drop a hammer in it, trust me. Um, at least this one does have shear bolt protection. So there's a bit of fiddling around getting it right, but at least it's not like written off the mill or blew the impeller up. This is a picture that Charlotte Ashley painted for me dad for his 75th birthday. Anyway, I only got it off her the other day, so I'm just giving it him now. Rob's just moving the Zerion out of the way. But yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, that's uh, that's what's done the damage. Could actually be one of our hammers as well, we're not sure. We're nearly there, just coming off the low to eight. It was a bit of an eventful journey. There was a crash, some roadworks, and a bike in the middle lane. No, sorry, the fast lane that flew off the car, and the car was just driving along, and as if nothing happened. So uh, hopefully, um, the car was ain't have cleared it up. But yeah, we're just nearly at the show now. I'm just arguing with Vodafone now, something from a few weeks ago. So I've been on all now for what, 40 minutes? I even got in yet, Charlotte needs a wee. It's like a tractor pull of that two wheel drive case, doesn't it? David Jones's but mini. It's a Corvus in green with a stock box on. Presume you wouldn't tip the cows out though or the sheep. Or calves. We just come off the Paxton stand and I bumped into George's mum and dad and they didn't let him come today. But well, they're gonna take him to Cheshire Plowing match they said. <laughs> <laughs> if you were at uh, Westmoreland show tomorrow I'm going to find Jonathan on this stand, NWF, because they're giving away really good ice cream. <laughs> and if you're not a customer, he'll get you to be one. <laughs> Look for Gren Shed. Gren Shed here, and, that, and we make Gren bird boxes Shed. out of tea pots. That's well cool. It's in the um, Made in Cumbria marquee. All right, we'll go and have a look. A load of from the that brand. French butter. People get involved in doing diversification projects. Dad dinner with Virgin Money. There's a bottle of wine left, we're taking it home. Hello. If you're watching Josh and Will Hancock, look who's on today. Yeah, again. <laughs> again. So apparently interest rates are coming down very soon, he said. That's right. They should do soon. Just watch this space. <laughs> right, he's got a cool name, Oliver. It's like me. He's just been explaining something about banks and uh, it's going to be a shameless plug because I might need to put my overdraft. Hold on. Just to explain what you just told me then about banks. Yeah, so the banks have obviously reorganised themselves to try and line up with the customers. And in the farming industry, we're seeing less and less agricultural bankers supporting farm businesses. And um, the consequence of that is, as, as farmers struggle with the current interest rates and lower grain prices, lower milk prices, when they need some extra cash flow to help them get through the difficult time, it will remain to be seen how well they're looked after uh, with their banks, um, given the expertise that seems to be disappearing out of the industry. Um, but obviously, here at Virgin Money, we still have no. A whole so team. he's not told with the, the whole the whole story. So a lot of banks you'll have a threshold. So if you own fifty grand, you get an 0800 number. If you own between like fifteen hundred, you might still get an 0800 number. But if you own a bit more, then you get you know you'll get might get a specialist. But at Virgin Money, you've still got people on the ground that understand farming because yeah. you're not a massive high street bank. Although really? you've been bought out by one, yeah. down at the, the still Yorkshire bank underneath. Yeah, we still have expertise all the way down through the, the, the borrowing levels that we see on farms. We still have an agricultural expertise and should be able to work through your business and support you in the right way. So if you're having a, I was, I was gonna swear then, but I don't swear on YouTube. If you're having a rubbish harvest and it's a long time till the next one and you're not happy with your current bank, shameless plug. Give him a ring. So either Oliver or Dale's over here hiding in the background. <laughs> Cheers for that anyway. Thank you. There's a uh, baby Highland. Look at that big TV on that American truck. Never seen one of these before. Well, I have seen a cement mixer before, but not 
Like that. Petrol engine, diesel or something. Zoom your toe it with a tow bar, but then put it on the forklift. Some big Matatus. Just seen this here, it's like smaller than a 956. Didn't make many of these with the sloping bonnet. Must have been refurbed because it's absolutely immaculate. I remember having a brochure for one of these. In fact, I've still got it in a loft. You can just see how much inflation is. £32,000. Can't really see a lot of difference between them two, other than the cab. Yeah, there's 20 grand difference. Hundred and eighty horsepower, hundred and thirty thousand. I do like the fact they've got prices on them, but look dear. There's a tether the same as ours, but Massey's version, so it's red, ours is green. I actually had dinner with the guy that owns this. It's immaculate, isn't it? Look at these toys. Forage wagon. Fertilizer spreader. What are the bales made of? You have to ask the boss. You know. <laughs> what are the bales made of? Foam. It's good, isn't it? I take it you sell them online. I do. I'm run out of leaflets because we've been that busy. So Croftfarmtoys.co.uk. Is that a front, that's a back mower, is it? Have you learned how to tip it yet? Yeah. Good. Look at this one here, it's got front and back mowers on a Valtra. That's brilliant, isn't it? Look at that low loader there, and it's got, it's got gas struts on the ramps. I think they're going to be busy before Christmas, don't you? Oh, that's a tedder. Look at the tedder. Twin rotor rake. The wheel must turn it. You want to give us a demo of how it works? I don't, well, can I just practice it? No, no, you, you're live now. Go on. <laughs> I presume that one makes it swing out the drawbar. Oh, and that puts it up and down. Oh, and you can change the height as well. Is it available in class screen as well as John Deere? <laughs> it's a beast, isn't it? Anyway, follow them on Instagram because they're on Instagram, Croft Farm Toys. Some reach on that. Wrist zone, 90 metres. I don't think it reaches 90 metres, but it's a bit of an animal. That's right up. Mr. Lowe's Street. In fact, both Mr. Lowe's, Adam Lowe and Stephen Lowe. So remember the other week, I got something sent in the post from Barton Wall. Well, there she is. <laughs> but more importantly, <laughs> look at that replica of the uh, Nemo II. But with the green stripes, the green stripes, the purple stripes on the wheels. But yeah, no, if you need anything woolen on the Malpas tractor stand, and they've got pumpkins, and also don't forget to follow one on Instagram. Charlotte's getting something for her mum now, but we can't tell you what <laughs> because her birthday's not till Friday. <laughs> They're obviously not for your mum. No. <laughs> Look at that, that's a beast. Look at the tyres on that. Someone stood next to it for scale. And then there's uh, them things. I think Robin had them when he was in Antarctica, forgetting about. It's obviously the. Bay Search and Rescue Department. Yeah. On the Cornthwaite stand, and I've probably shown you this before, but it's normally got loads of people around it, but this is six, nine, ten that they've refurbed. It's just completely, like, looks like it's out of the box. Similar age to the 
seven seven ten I've got. But I remember these being new. You can tell the later days they lost the bar here. To the bar in the middle of the cab. A mm, couple of years after these, I think when they brought out the 20 series, they lost that bar. And obviously it's never come back. This is like what David's got, isn't it, with his loader on? Who would do the hay with? Little baby Kramer there. 27.6. Our Merlot's a 27.6. So that's 2.7 tons to 6 metres, but it looks a lot bigger. It's like halfway between John Deere Green and Fent Green, isn't it? To the Lee Bar on this. It's a class. Telly Andlers. I built in the Lee Bar factory for him. Apparently, class all the de design rights. Kramer used to make them, but now Lee Bar do. Six fifty. Rick and B's here. Smart box like ours. Just on our way back from the show now, uh, I think the coolest thing I definitely saw was the pedal tractor machinery, I suppose you'd call it. It was metal as well, which is good. But when I was with the bank, they were obviously talking about you know levels of service, should, should we say. And I think it's very important, especially with farming, because you have so many peaks and troughs to have a bank that understand what they're doing. We moved to Yorkshire Bank in 2010 when there's like a financial crash and that West didn't understand our business and we've never looked back since we've done that. It was called Yorkshire Bank, now it's called Virgin Money. So I am going to give them a shameless plug again because my business would not have grown to where it was without their understanding of farming and business. But anyway, that's enough plug in the bank. They haven't paid me to say that, but they did buy me my dinner. So, you know, I've got to play. But I'm going to quickly do the birthdays before I forget because I've got them on Charlotte's phone here because I've not got it right on because she's driving back and I'll get wet right on the uh, car bonnet. Uh, so it's Rick. Rick Blackburn's 39. Uh, Emin Williams is on there. James Richardson is 40. Rob Jones is on there as well. And where we've got uh, David Garrett, his birthday, he's in the Allen Man. And Adam Munley is also 10 as well. So happy birthday, everyone on the birthday bumper. A uh, bit of a random video today, a little bit scattered, been in the yard, been up here. Didn't really see much of the show. If you do get to go to the show tomorrow, it's, it is a really good show. Go and have a look at them toys as well, them kids' toys, they're really cool. Uh, talking as well to uh, the lady, I've got her name, Chats, Janet Hughes, and I was going to say Janet Evans then because I've been reading this. Janet Hughes from DEFRA, she was on the NFU stand, and we're going to try and get her onto the farm, get her in a cab, and do a bit of a cab chat like what we did with Sandy from DEFRA that time, on, and Manette maybe when we were in the car on the way to cereals. Uh, I think an informal interview is interesting. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching today, and um, I'm going to leave you hanging for another day of what we've traded in. But what I will say, the most popular opinion for trading in yesterday was the 936. It is not the 936 we're trading in, so guess again, and I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, Joe Seal's ending. It's not ended yet, the video. I have sold a Discovery. I'd actually sold it pretty much before the video went live. So yeah, sorry about that, if anyone's interested. But yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.